Her lips which whisper like reeds on the wind, wet with moisture sprung from a well deep within, whispers like the petals of an iris, the breedy blossom which weathers and is not trodden down for long. Fell Burgundy Iris or Moses Cleveland's Canterbury Tales. Book 8, line 2245. Their moisture here or water be but once upon a time to see, it much too dry now for this to be new. At least about a hundred years, incommodiously lodged here, or more, hard to say with but a view. When came she on the passage lapse, the south tunnel indeed collapsed, ventured she to muse upon fallen stone. Looks like this way they came in turn, but back that way they did return, trapped or crushed their fates to be unknown. Brash and burly despite her size, and quite correct I would surmise, North she turned to navigate the chasm. The rope still taut from last year's span, the gap which spawned but last year's plan, inspired as was by wayward phantasm. The rope to cross Sabrina chanced, with new rope the bridge to enhance, for to ensure no fall to be endured. The other four nay to deplore the span to cross, a menial chore, to follow the forensic epicure. Extreme distaste, but for the chase, distraction would indeed debase. She fo so focused she upon the task at hand. The gap traversed could have been worse. No scrapes or broken bones to nurse. No travesties on trapeze to withstand. No hijinks wrought or indeed sought. Inside she giggled at the thought. This gnome, no harlequin to be was she. What to expect the type to set, no room to air or safety net, thriving herself to reinvent with glee. Explicitly proceeded she the spider shaft before her be, but challenged now she spied the ledge below. A rope now cinched around her waist, she spun herself around with haste. It wound around her middle, down to go. The other end secure and fast, she bid her luck indeed to last, and leaped across the ledge to plummet down. She spun around and round and round, cackling as the rope unwound, till reached the end of rope by which was bound. Bouncing, swinging to and fro, hysterical laughter but to know, her tumbling shredding all the webs to see. She swung around, kicked off the wall, the bottom ledge upon to fall, secured the rope to lower ledge had she. Behind the rope a cavern be, beyond the ledge to be indeed, a passage angled down to realms unknown. A newfound foe from down below, the shafted climb bringer of woe, eight legs to find it loomed behind the gnome. A garish sound that nerves unwound as down the rope the bottom found, as down the rope the other slid in passing. To chafe the teeth and fingernails, that sliding sound, what nerves to rack, to help the gnome the spider was harassing. And down they came with weapons drawn, doom impending, in dark to dawn, a fore and rear the spider surrounded. Its web now cut, its exit gone, the spider whirled to face the throng of foes behind, its flight indeed grounded. Turning to face the greater foe, behind which left the little gnome, its abdomen to crush the gnome Sabrina, or so it thought, its theorem grand, Sabrina though had other plans, to cure latent arachnophobia. For with my dagger and this smut, I humbly stab thee in the butt, an aphrodisiac upon the blade. Caddy not more kittenesque, what horny spider for to divest, mine to keep or not, adieu, she bade. The scurrilous spider for to pry, the scintilla spied within its eyes, expeditious grooming fit upon it. Lasso lunging, eight legs lashing at its face, the spider crashing to the ground, its abdomen to sit. Whirling, reeling, gyrating legs, reality now it for to beg, 
eyes alight with unsustainable fate, fire. But with a push and but a shove, with haste and deed, and with no love, over the ledge before regained its ire. Back to the shaft the spider went to plummet down, its metal spent, through wafting mist to plummet down below. Down below and near to rise, it hail and fits, I would surmise. It bail and twine, what spider twine to know. On down the narrow passage led, Sabrina, then Catania, dread, Gruger and Ladandria as well. And down the narrow passage led, off to the left, to drear and dread, or stone like steps and down where doom did dwell. What murky Paul the like death did call, upon the stone indeed did fall, cold chill creeping up the stone steps to meet. What shudders running up the spine was air electric by design, excitement now, but what new threat to greet. And I'll stop right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dedicate this reading to the late Anne Rice. Um, I don't know if you've read her books. They're fantastic. Mayfair Witches, you know, all the vampire stories. I mean, I know they got a new TV series about it. Check out the books, though. They're actually really good. Um, have a good night, and thank you for listening. Um, be safe, be well, be blessed, be loved, and may peace and prosperity be with you. Good night.